Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. This is your oracle of love for singles who's coming towards you, extended reading, their characteristics, work, etc. How, how the two of you will meet. I would like to now delve into this person's past relationship and why their past relationship has failed or didn't go according to plan and what it is that this person is looking for this time around when they meet you. So let's have a look into this person's past. Okay, past relationship. <clears throat> why the relationship failed what and what it is that they're looking for this time when they meet you okay nine of swords all right this this relationship was quite quite demanding this relationship could have been quite toxic. Um, a lot of anxiety, uncertainty. It could have been a long distance thing. We see a person that's lonely by himself in bed. So it could have been a long distance relationship. Um, I think insecurities, there's someone in a dark place here. This person might have been lonely um, for quite some time. So they might have been single for a while. But I think if we look, if we read into the Nine of Swords with this person's past relationship, the swords, you know, in this particular card indicate a bit of darkness and uncertainty, sadness that's coming through here. So maybe something didn't work out. Loneliness, maybe there was lack of affection, but there could be mind games. I feel like there was mind games with the nine of swords. Nothing's making sense here. The relationship couldn't piece together. I think mind games were being played. Could have been with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Okay, Ace of Pentacles also could have been an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. I think money might have been an issue or superficiality with the Ace of Pentacles, to be honest. It's also like they, they were very close to building a future. Maybe they were close to moving in together, buying a happy family home. But this didn't quite work out. They had good opportunities, but I think finances or money somehow drove this relationship away. Lack of clarity, fighting over finances as well. Or if it was a long distance relationship, I feel like just they couldn't, literally they couldn't afford this relationship because go, <clears throat> excuse me, going back and forth, traveling, like financially, this there was something that was setting them back and that they couldn't... <clears throat> pursue with this relationship it might have even been career differences with the ace of pentacles because it can often denote assets money career or jobs maybe they had really really different jobs that took them separate to separate places okay the nine of pentacles Again, this sort of focus on movement, um, sorry, not on movement, on um, finances, <clears throat> financial differences, possibly superficiality. We see someone that was, I mean, it could be duality as well because the nine, there's two nines here and they're both very, very different. The nine of swords is anxiety, doubt, worry, sadness, uncertainty, insomnia, sleepless nights whereas the nine here is abundance gratitude feeling really happy with one's current surroundings so the, this relationship might have been very dual i think highs were high and lows were low um, but i think for the most part i think money or career or financial differences really really got in the way so it's not like this relationship was doomed to fail. I think in some aspects it was quite good and they were quite happy physically with their partner because the pentacles is all about physicality in our physical realm. So I think they were happy with this person here, but in in some way it just it got too much. <clears throat> okay, we've had two cards fall out, so we'll use those. Okay, first card, lovers, again, very strong commitment, 
<clears throat> this past, this ex of this person could have been a very fated person. I mean, we do see the angel here, which often can denote fate, orchestrating this meeting together. I feel this might have been a relationship that went on for quite some time. It was probably their most longest and most emotionally invested relationship they've ever had. And they've only recently come out of it here with the lover's card. They might have thought that this was a soulmate for them, that this is the person they'd spend the rest of their life with. Very strong physical attra attraction, sexuality. They certainly embraced this relationship when it was high, but when it was low, it was low. And what do we have here? We have the two of pentacles. Again, this notion of duality. They may have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo or Gemini in particular. And with Geminis, if it was a Gemini, there can be this sort of fickleness to the person. Maybe there's lack of clarity. They're uncertain because I feel it goes either way with the Gemini. They're either 110% committed or they're 10% committed. It's like there's no in-between for them. And maybe this was the case. That again, there, was, there had to be a balancing act. Um, or maybe they couldn't keep with the duality. They couldn't keep with the differences. Things going really well and then things going sour <clears throat> again we see a ship here um, a ship is movement embarking on journeys um, physically moving away relocations it could also be denotive of long distance relationships so maybe this back and forth just got too much so for a lot of um, so for a lot of you I feel like this person you'll hear that this person has either had commitments to travel and just couldn't commit to the long distance thing or there was a lot of duality in the relationship. One time it's it's the beautiful nine, and another time it's the sad nine, it's the despaired nine, it's finances are getting in the way. But I think for the most part, this relationship was um was quite good. I don't think it's quite messy. I think they might even be friends with this person still. It's quite um even though it's platonic, they're still, because of the nature of this person, they still respect and hold people close to them because I think it might be still fresh, <clears throat> this this whole relationship. Let's have a look. Um, well, before we do that, let's just quickly skim through what they're looking for. So they do want a lover's embrace. They do want someone that's going to make them feel loved, give them affection, give them attention, make them feel worthy, not make them feel like the nine, the nine of swords. They don't want to feel like this. They want to feel like that. So they don't want the duality. They don't want the contrast. They don't want... I don't think they can do long distance relationships, to be honest. That's not what they're looking for. That's not something they're good at um, because they can't do the lonely nights. They can't do the distance because there's... You know, it could even be someone else that came in. I don't think it's a third party situation. I just think they just couldn't commit to what was being offered to them. So they are looking for stability. They are looking for true love. They are looking for commitment and definitely not something long distance or something where they'll be left alone for too long at a time without seeing you. Okay, let's have a look at how you'll feel about this relationship when the two of you come together. Sagittarius, okay. You're coming up as the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles, uh, pentacles indicates that you'll be very proud of this person. This person will very much change your status. This is all about a status change, wealth, establishment and assets. So you'll feel like you can really establish a future with this person. And whatever this means to you, traveling, renting a home, buying a home, starting a family, being more, um, leaning more towards a relationship rather than just something fleeting, Sagittarius, I think there's... You feel good about this person. You feel you have firm footing in this relationship. You feel like you mean something to this person. That this person considers you and tells their friends about you and is just really puts you, you know, on this pedestal here. And this is how I think you'll feel. And I think you'll have a lot of respect for this person because they're able to do that for you, Sagittarius. They're able to offer you those things. Um, stability is coming from you, so you'll definitely want stability. Um, you'll definitely want to embrace embrace the good times, embrace this person and their good qualities. Oh, this is beautiful, the Ten of Chalices. 
The Ten of Chalices is all about, this is the Chalice of Souls. So for some of you, this is a past life soulmate connection here, definitely. It is about harmony, togetherness and a solid, happy union. So for some, this is definitely a person you could see your happily ever after with. This is someone you could see yourself committing to for a very long time, if not for the long haul. But it's a very strong connection you feel with this person. A lot of emotion. I think you'll fall in love with this person. And it's a very deep love. Um, not only physically fall in love with them, but emotionally, just spiritually. You'll be really happy. You'll feel really high. I think you've hit the jackpot here, Sagittarius. I hope you don't let this person pass you by because they're there and they could give you these things. They could offer you a lot of love and a lot of commitment and I hope you take it because you'll definitely be feeling very happy. Um, this person will give you a lot. They encompass a lot. They have a lot of characteristics and energy about them, which is what you're looking for. And look at that. That's powerful. You've got the wheel here. It's almost like the wheel of fate, the cycle of life and death. It's just, it's infinite though. And it's eternal. For some, there's an eternity with this person here, which I love. For some of you, this could very well be the person you end up marrying um, and spending the rest of your life with. And you're coming out of this cycle. There's a ring here. For some, there's engagement. But, um, you know, the wheel keeps on turning. You'll feel lucky. It's almost like you'll feel fated that there's a reason why this person has come into your life. There's a reason why the two of you together with, are together with the, with the wheel. And look at you on top. I love this card. It's almost like the Wheel of Fortune, but in the Egyptian version here. Beautiful relationship coming here. A beautiful cycle. You know, all your past pains. We see these little devils here. All your past pains, your past temptations will fade away, Sagittarius. And you'll be a better version of yourself. You'll feel like you're a better person. Or you want to be a better person. Not that you're bad now, but you'll want to be. You'll want to be a certain way for this person. You'll commit to them. You'll sacrifice where you need to because you know they're worth it. Let's have a look at how they'll feel about you in the relationship when the two of you come together. Okay, this card's sticking out. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is... It's very similar to the, uh, the Rider Waite deck here. It is about working on working on something very intently being very committed to something so they're committed to make you happy they're very committed to make this relationship work Sagittarius so given their previous grievances their previous relationship hurdles they're very very committed and as I've said they're very much a person of action and actions speak louder than words this is especially true for them and you'll see this, you'll see them in their actions, you'll see the things they do and they don't do and this will speak volumes of how committed they are to you. So this shows they'll take a lot of action, sacrifice, steps to be with you, to make this work and they'll continue working hard at the relationship which again shows how committed they are and eight is all about abundance and plenty and happiness. It's creativity. I feel like they'll surprise you in this relationship. They're quite thoughtful and quite creative. And I think this will keep you on your toes. Okay, the three of pentacles. Definitely very proud to have you by their side, Sagittarius. This is the, um, this is the glory of the god Horus. And you can see he's sort of embracing the pentacles here so he's embracing the physical this person will be very affectionate towards you in the relationship physically you'll see this through their affection through their actions and you'll see how much they might not always say it to you Sagittarius say that they're falling for you or that they're interested or that they want to pursue you but you need to pay particular attention to their actions because this will speak volumes of how they're feeling and what they're working towards they're very proud to have you around them very much big um, big on public displays of affection this is accolades. This is a lot of people appreciating and supporting this relationship. And people around this person will be very, very happy to see you a part of their life. They'll see how the two of you just bring 
so much harmony and balance to each other's lives. This is beautiful. Okay, last card. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. It's come up twice here. I love this. Look at the sun here. What looks like a pentacle, but also looks like a sun. And we can see the extended arms of the sun's rays. And they're blessing you. This is gratitude. This is you being really, really thankful. This is them being really, really thankful for you. Again, I almost feel like they had a significant relationship in their past that meant something, but you might just come in and change that and overlap this. Because if this is how they're feeling towards you, look what's bringing the two of you together. This beautiful hand of God here. This is divine orchestration. This is someone that's being placed ever so intently in your path. And like I said, I hope you don't ignore it. This person can certainly give you a beautiful relationship. So I hope this has been insightful for you, Sagittarius. Thanks again for joining me. Um, all the best and we'll chat soon. Thanks again.